Yeah, to Oakland Press reporter Dave Phillips, you were inside court today. Tell us about the key moments. Well, uh, a lot of focus today was on the demeanor and the differences in demeanor between uh, the suspect Jeffrey Pine and his father, Ruth's husband, Bernie Pine. Um, there was a sheriff detective, sheriff's deputy, and an EMS worker today. They all testified, and you can hear it in that 911 call, that Bernie Pine was despondent over, the, over finding his wife dead in the garage. Um, you know, crying, sobbing, just couldn't believe it, um, in, in denial, basically. Whereas Jeffrey Pine, um, he was described as being very calm, didn't have much of a reaction. In fact, a couple of the people who testified today said they felt as though he was kind of putting on an act, kind of fake crying and um, fell out of the ambulance at one point that he was in with his other family members and kind of putting on a show, they said. Hmm. Well, the prosecution told jurors the smoking gun in this case are the injuries to the defendant, the son, Jeffrey's hands. 20 minutes after the 911 call reporting Jeff's mother's dead, Jeff shows up at his job, but he's got injured hands. His boss testified that Jeff told him, well, he mangled his hands throwing a wooden pallet. Listen. Did he tell you anything about these injuries? Yeah, he told me that he... Uh... He threw a pallet. did seem odd, but... I, Why did it seem odd to you? Well, I, just a quick glance, I looked at it, thought, well, it looks more like a rope burn. All right, take a look at the wounds. Uh, could these wounds be from throwing a wooden pallet, or could they be John Lieberman, investigative reporter, contributor, uh, as the prosecutors contend, those, those injuries from swinging a two-by-four 16 times at his mom? Well, that's what prosecutors say. They say these injuries are the smoking gun. They say that this guy had motive, i.e. he was angry at his mother for the alleged abuse. He had opportunity. He wasn't at work at the time of the murder. He clocked in later after the 911 call was made. But here's the problem in this case, Jane. You actually have a very sympathetic suspect here. Mm, yes. This was a well-liked guy in the community, in school, and that's definitely going to work against prosecutors.